Hi there, thanks for tuning in to this very first video on this brand new channel. My name's Will, um, so this channel is going to be a playthrough channel. Um, my favourite genre of game is horror, but we'll spice things up again. We'll put uh, some different sort of content in there, just as we feel like it. Um, I'm going to try and make it as fun for you to watch, uh, and also as fun for me to play as possible. And if you have any suggestions in terms of the gameplay, or what games you would like to see me playing, or just really any suggestions at all, please, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. And let's get started. So today the game is Made of Scare. Now, I don't know really anything about this game. The only thing I did uh, query was the actual how to pronounce the title. I thought this game actually looked like a Scandinavian sort of title. It had a sort of Scandinavian-y, Norwegian-y type of vibe to it. Um, with the sort of foresty scenery. Um, and I thought it might have been something like Made of Skier or something like that there. But no, it's set in Wales in the UK. And it is Made of Scare. So that set me straight. Um, I haven't played the... I've played the first two minutes of it just to make sure that the game performed okay. And that I didn't need to repair any files and things like that there. So we're pretty much starting from scratch here. And we'll go in and just check some of the settings. So... One thing I did change uh, prior to starting the video was I turned the music volume down because um, the music volume was quite overpowering when it was set to 100. If I crank it up to 100, typically enough the music stopped. Seriously? Um, anyway, um, so I find 25 to be quite a good, uh, quite a good sort of setting. Graphic options then, uh, let me see what we have here. So, full screen borderless, resolution is 1440, so I'm playing on a 1440p, 144Hz, 32 inch curved monitor. Um, it's an MSI monitor, so we have VSync, uh, target frame rate of 300. I don't, don't know why you would possibly need 300 frame rate for a game like this, but anyway, we'll leave it at 300. Uh, field of view 90%. I don't really know what difference that makes. Brightness seems fine. Gamma. I'll leave it at 1. Um, quality settings full. Yes, yes, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Motion blur. Mm. We'll try it on now and we'll see what happens. If it looks a bit weird, sometimes I find motion blur in games nearly gives you a seasicky sort of feeling to them. But uh, we'll not waste too much time. Film green on, ocul ambient occlusion, sorry. On. Gameplay options, language English, difficulty normal. What is the difficulties? Easy. It, wow, easy or normal. Uh, the, the possibilities are endless with those. Uh, show crosshair, we'll leave it on. Subtitles on, subtitles says normal. Right to there. Keyboard and mouse options, uh, who cares? Controller options, uh, controllers are for kids. And people who failed at uh, PC gaming. Money kid. And nobody cares about data processing. Okay. Yes, we, okay. Oh, right, okay. So we had two options before. We now have a whole plethora of options now. Safe. Uh, for those who want to focus on atmosphere and story. Ooh. So if we choose that, we're locked into this mode. So we're not going to choose that. Uh, enemies and damage are removed from the game. Uh, I think if you removed enemies and damage from the game, uh, you'd be left with a game like Firewatch. I'm not sure if he's played Firewatch. Good game, beautiful scenery, beautiful sort of atmosphere to the game, but not a lot happened in the game. Um, but it was good if you're into scenery and you're into sort of the whole ambiance of the game, then uh, it, it's probably for you. So easy for players who are new to the horror genre and want a more relaxed playing experience. Player has more health. Nah. Normal. For those who want a challenging yet balanced horror experience. That sounds pretty good. Enemies are sensitive to sound and are easily alerted. Ammo and health items are scarce but available. This is sort of sounding a bit Resident Evilly, Where you have four bullets and 95 enemies. And the only way to kill them all would be to line them all up like ducks in a row. And get that one in a million shot that hits about 19 heads. Uh, hard. For those brave enough to focus on their survival skills, you're locked to this game mode once you start. Saves are limited. 
Enemies appear earlier and are much stronger. Enemies will... Is there is there a is there a hard-ish mode? No, that would be nice. Hard-ish, somewhere between those two. Um, so we're going to choose normal because it doesn't seem to lock you into this game mode. So we'll start off normal, and if we find it a bit too easy um, or a bit too hard, we will change to one of the other modes. So normal it is. We're not going to waste too much time. I should say I'm going to split the game these gameplay down into probably half an hour segments. Um, just because I don't want to bore anybody to tears. Uh, looks a bit sort of diorama, diorama, diorama-ish. Dearest Thomas, these are not words I wish to write. My father has learned of our plans, my love. Yet there is more, far worse, that I wish you to understand, but I fear you may believe me taken with madness. My father seeks to use me. As I have come to believe, he used my poor mother. He wishes me to sing for him as she did. To become the star attraction that will draw good folk to this accursed spit of land. Good folk? My refusal to do so has led to my confinement here at Scare Hotel. I cannot explain further, First but ask class. that you trust me. I beseech you to compose a melody for me. Look at the size of them the songs. Song contained within this locket of my mother's. I realize this request will seem strange. Pretty that foxy. Your first thought will be to come straight here. But without your composition, all hope of holding back the darkness gathering here will be lost. Ooh. Your love, always, Elizabeth. Elizabeth spelt with an E, with an S, sorry. Uh, my mum's name had, was Elizabeth and it was a Z. Does that matter? Not at all. Do you care? Not a jot. None but a pure heart can sing. Well, I like to think I have a pretty pure heart and I can't sing a note, so no. I don't buy your... Wow. That was a bit intense for a title screen. Use the phonographs to save your game. Let's see, this is a bit Resident Evil as well there. Um, Resident Evil will... Resident Evil 8 or Resident Evil Village. You use the typewriters to save your game, and it's been that way throughout the game. So, but let's not let's not accuse them of ripping off a very popular games franchise um, just yet until we play the game a little bit. Music sheet, Thomas Evans. The hell. Wow, the rotate function. I really hope I don't need to rotate too many things in this game because the rotate function is as annoying as hell. What? Just a... Yeah. Okay. Getting up is a real struggle, apparently. Okay, so Scare Island, then we have the... Welsh flag and we have the UK flag. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. I quite like the sort of softness, the light sort of filtering through the tree sort of softness. Oh, inventory. Okay, so let's inspect this little thing. Pretty foxy. Okay, an eagle with a sort of crest. Okay, oh, hold on. I think this could be significant. This looks like a sort of keyway. Maybe not, but possibly. And then the music sheet. What's this stuff here? No maps. No photographs. Okay. So let's press on. Okay, grand reopening Scare Hotel. Special performance by Elizabeth Williams, the new maid of Scare. Daughter of famed singing sensation. Hey, I was reading that. Prudence Williams 
enjoy the restorative peace in spa waters off scare point 30th of october 1897 so get away get away get away what okay so there's elizabeth who's looking pretty foxy uh, and her mother prudence who yeah not so much so what's going on with that nose anyway Right, can we go in here? Yes, we can. Ooh, I want the same symbol in the bottom of my locket. The light heartbeat sound. I do like it. I, it looks very nice, I have to say. Ship. <laughs> I like the way it tells you the button for shift after you start to use the button for shift, for run, sorry. Scare point or scare hotel. Let's go. I have a, a strange suspicion this is going to be a really, really sort of linear game. Oh. Man, I'm very unfit. I'm breathing heavy already. that man I need to exercise more this is I'm panting like a dog mm, pretty cool Welsh language singing there, uh, which has went to hell. So what's going on over here? What the hell is that? No, oh, hello. Nobody else find that really strange? No, just me. That some sort of apparition just shot into space? No. Would that be the dog that I was told to beware of earlier on in the game? I'll break him down, yeah. Okay. So the detail, the, the, the detail of the background and the detail in the game so far is pretty good. I mean, it is pretty good. It looks really nice. The sort of colour saturation and texture details is if I was a bit of a nerd which I am I could see what the sort of drain on my graphics card was to see how much processing power it takes for this but I'm not going to this is me now on the other side of the gate is it that doesn't look like where I came from but anyway let us move on okay yeah that's pretty creepy man Oh, 
I love these games that, you know, you're unable to step over that, you know. Hey, hey. Nope, no chance. It's way too high. Nothing else in this room apart from this handle. Am I on a timer here? Is that it? Pretty nice, look at that. Hey man, your palm needs a bit of a clean. I'm not actually sure in the game if there is a lot of sort of hidden stuff, so I don't want to miss it, but at the same time, you don't want to spend too much time looking for things that just aren't part of the game, so let's move on. The loading is pretty slow. Ooh, objective update. Answer the phone. But the phone hasn't rung yet. Mm. Pretty handy if it tells you what you have to do. Hello. For the help. Please be careful, my love. This place is no longer safe. I'm safe upstairs, but I cannot leave the attic. I'm lucky I've for had you. To lock and bar the door. Hide away from the others. So, this is one of those sort of games where it gives you a choice, but you end up, you end up answering all the questions anyway. I prayed that you received it, hoped that you would come. I know my request must have seemed strange, and I fear it was all for naught, that everything has changed now. How did she get a letter to you? If, it, if it's so wrought with danger, how the hell did she get a letter to me? My father and uncle, the staff, they have been beguiled by the darkness that inhabits this place. Mm. They are no longer themselves, but stalk these halls, attacking anyone that makes a sound. Please, Thomas, listen carefully. Together we can put a stop to all of this. My father made recordings on brass cylinders of a song, a strange melody that affects the mind. If all of the cylinders are played together on the harmonium, this madness will end. You need to find them and bring them to me. Oh, you but... must find all of the brass cylinders. All oh, right, okay, don't be so pushy. All right, creepy hallway. What is that? Hmm. Do we come out here at some point? I assume so. In loving memory of Prudence Williams, 1852 to 1894, get back. The maid of scare, may your song live on forever. And sort of creepy coins in our necklace, it's pretty creepy. Okay, so let's move on here. 
Ooh. Sort of feel like I should probably have a gun at this point. Okay, let's see. Enter to read. Ground reopening dress rehearsal. Preparations for the blah blah blah. Sign check. Everything else ticked off except sign check. What is the significance of that? Who cares? Do I really want anybody to come? No. Well. Ooh, behind the counter. Ooh, a map. Okay. So we find that. We can't open it. We've been to the phone. We came through here. Those two doors are locked. We probably should go up and venture in there. This looks like a door right here. Yeah, I've just had the map on. Right, well, we'll take a nip up the hallway and just... Oh, hello. What the hell does this do? Someone, some sort of demon or something. Yeah, I'll go up and look around the hall. Popular guy. How right, do we get in here now? fish blood it's locked we need a key okay I am really really breathing heavy here I don't like my chances of being able to outrun I come across. Okay, time we go. That door closes itself? I mean, what the hell? Reception, toilets. out in the toilet. Weird octopus. Okay, so I can't go in there. Left with around here. Give it a little sieve.
there is that useless brother of mine. Father, please. Please, she just misses mother. Abraham! Abraham! I'll be rid of this dog once and for all. What? This whole room? Not that? Nothing else in here. Oh, what's that? No. Help me! Who's there? Who are you? Henry! Henry Hughes. My name's Thomas Evans. You must get me out. Hurry! We must get this door open. Why do you think? They're clearly rogues. They're trying to kidnap me. Rogues. Ooh. Please hurry. Do something. I'll try to find a key. What? No, no, don't leave me. They might return any minute. Oh, do something. I can't break it down from my side. Stand back. Good. Good. Try again. Harder, man. Throw yourself into it. What? They're coming. Oh God, please no. No, don't do this. Whatever you want, I... I feel like I should run away. And the pain in the backside. Sorry, friend. You're dead, boy. Wow, th this rotate function is so bad. Um, it's not even funny. Music doll, what the hell? What, I mean, what the hell am I meant to do with this thing? Nah. Nothing, apparently. feel like I should run away. Smoke the door. Mm Okay, so, so far, so good. Breathing? 
It's quite heavy on the sort of uh, creepy background sounds. Hmm. We got another room. But we'll see if. rooms here with nothing really in them. <laughs> he did, boy. Why have I got blood all around? What the hell happened to me? He didn't hit me. He hit him. After seeing that, sure, the first thing we think is that we should probably answer the phone. Ooh, object updated. Where the hell is the objective, boy? Look for cylinders around the hotel. Follow the man. Seems a bit creepy. Got nothing, man. I need a key. I need a whole bunch of keys, boy. Bloodwind's nervous tonic. Why, why am I rotating, boy? Okay. Right, Q to heal. Hmm. Resident Evil Village, much? Hmm. Nice bust. <laughs> okay. Eleventh uh, of June, Mr. and Mrs. Wainscombe, elderly couple, no children, Exeter, Devon, close two to six trinkets, two to three. Um, unlikely to be missed. Fire again. Nothing salvageable. 3rd of August, Mr. Victor Williams, merchant, travelling alone. Mm, test subject, Mr. Ernest Sharp, painter, travelling alone, Rye, East Sussex. Okay, so, tired clerk, so they were testing something on somebody. Musician, travelling, Matilda Norton, travelling alone, Bristol, question mark. Another musician, asking too many questions, very evasive, why? Ooh, J for journal, okay. Okay. Right, so let's see, where are we here? Where are we? Uh, let's have stuff that leads us around. Okay. What did that do there? It's locked. Oh, 
Okay, somehow we've made our way to the window. Elizabeth, are you there? Are you safe? I'm here. There was someone else in the attic outside the door, but I think they've gone now. I don't. But you must look to yourself first, Thomas. If you should be caught too... They seem to be drawn to sound. You must remain quiet. Attacked and they dragged him away. God, that's horrific. I dread to think of you being snatched like that too. Our one hope of helping him, helping all of them, is finding the cylinders. The ones who took that man, they can't see it seems. But why? What do you think is wrong with them? They're crazy. I, I knew noise attracted them, but what happened to their faces? Take the utmost care. Trust me, I, don't answer, I will try. It means I've had to hide. That they've come back. Or you're dead. Okay. Rooms, man. So I'm not sure whether I should be trying to look more carefully. Oh, hello. Isn't creepy, man. Mm -hmm. Creepy, man. Must be quieter. Must be quieter. It's amazing uh, how loud my shoes are. Every footstep seems like a gunshot. Right, where did he go except in here and I'm following him? Yes, I've already crouched, obviously. Hmm. Not that way. Not this way. I have a feeling something's going to happen here. Sheet. 
Never mind music sheets. Where's the guns? Where's the guns, man? Give me pump action shotgun. Ooh, hell. Don't think I need to heal that. Hmm. Big creepy door with a handle. Let's move back. Nope, apparently that doesn't work. I'm not going back anyway. Loading. The loading screens are quite slow. Oh, great. Well, I think I'll call it quits for this part one here. Um, first impressions of the game, it seems pretty good. Very, very linear. But quite enjoyable. Creepy, the... Uh, the background sounds whenever you have headphones on. Um, it's quite immersive. Um, the footsteps sound really loud, which is annoying. Um, it seems to tell you the button you have to push to do um, a movement after you've pushed it, which is pretty annoying too. Um, and the fact that your character doesn't actually speak, um, which that would have been nice if you were actually interacting on the phone instead of just choosing one of the options. So, but... We'll play through the game. Uh, part 2 will be coming soon. And I hope you've enjoyed this. And once again, if you have any suggestions or any comments that you would like to leave, please feel free to leave them. I will listen to them and read them all. And thanks very much. I shall see you in the next one.